Let's write the fraction 3 7 as a decimal. And here's how we do that. We know that 3 is smaller than 7. So 3 divided by 7, that's going to be less than 1. It's going to be a decimal. So let's take 3 and see how many times 7 goes into 3. 7 doesn't go into 3, but we could call this 30 as long as we put a decimal point up here. 7 times 4, that's 28. So 30 minus 28 is 2. 7 doesn't go into 2. We're going to call it 20 and move over 1. 2 times 7, that's 14. We subtract and we get 6. 7 doesn't go into 6. We're going to call it 60 and move over 1. And now 7 times 8. That's 56. So we can keep going on here for some time. In fact, we would get 8, 5, 7, 1, and then it would start repeating. This part would start repeating again. So we could just put a bar over this here, and 3 divided by 7 equals 0 0.428571, and that actually repeats. You could round this to something like 0 0.43, if you wanted, either way. But when we write the fraction 3 7 as a decimal, we get 0 0.428517. And this whole piece here, it just keeps repeating. So we put that bar over that. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.